Pete is on a podcast in America on Saturday night. Good morning to you, Pete. Good morning, Paddy. How are you keeping? Ah, Midland. How is yourself? Ah, I'm 100%, 120%. All excited with this this little thing that they're doing on, on Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. And can you explain to the listeners what it's all about? Yeah, well, look, long story short, um, there's um, these two American people, they, they're uh, husband and wife, Dorothy and Matt Henderson, and they, um, they, they during lockdown for the crack, they started to play underground music, um, kind of inspired like from an MTV kind of a thing, and they set up a little studio in their house in Bethlehem in, in Pennsylvania, and they started playing music from all around the world, um, and um, one of their um, close friends, a guy called Jeffrey, um, got in contact with me, he was doing a bit of research for them. And he said, look, we love your song. We love the message uh, of we need to talk the, with, the, with this, uh, the mental health phone numbers. Um, and so what they did was they played it on their first show. And then they shared the local numbers for Bethlehem for the support services in Bethlehem, in Pennsylvania, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, and then it's live on, it was live, live on Facebook. Um, and then they uploaded to their YouTube channel. Um, so then... Look, every week they start. They played a different song from down through the years, from uh, different bands that I was in, from Rumble to the Receptors to the new stuff I'm doing with Robbie Sharkey and RP3000. And um, then they called me one day and they said, "Look, Pete, we'd love to do a complete show just on you." So I, um, I was look. That's very humbling and um, in a way a bit strange, but absolutely very lovely, and um, I'm, I'm I'm delighted. So it's on this. Saturday live on Facebook at seven o'clock, and you just have to go to the Punk and Preppy show. So that's Punk, and it's an N, just an N, and Preppy show, and um, at seven o'clock, and they'll be live. And it's a whole. They've done two interviews with me for about two hours, and then they're editing it all down. Um, and I just take 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 uh, take them through all the bands I've been in all of the different um, crazy things, sex, drugs, and rock and roll <laughs> that's happened to me down through the years. And, um, and then we talk a bit, because a big part of, of, uh, of what happened on my journey was um, uh, I had a, a mental breakdown um, after a really good friend of mine who was managing Rumble at the time passed away. He was 29 and I was 26, and it took me a long, long time to come to terms with that. And my last album, which is has this song, We Need to Talk on it, is kind of addresses that whole thing. And basically it's me kind of coming out and speaking openly about that mental health issue because what I did was I kind of swept it under the carpet for about 15 years and just didn't talk about it. So it's been like a bit of a weight off my shoulders getting that off out, out in the open, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we're looking forward to uh, watching that now on Saturday night at 7 p.m. As you see, you can go to that link, but you can also get the link on your page. Yeah, you'll get the link um, on my page, or um, if you just type punk and preppy into um, Facebook, you'll get it there as well. Um, but look, you know, for me, like they're, they're, they're putting a massive amount of work into this, and it would just be lovely. They, they've really stro struck up a real kind of relationship with Dundalk. They're talk, they're, like they've, I've sent them loads of pictures of the town, and they've, they, you know, we've talked about the town a lot, and um, they, they're, they're mad to get over here as soon as COVID will allow. And, um, you know, it'd be great if people would tune in just, just to, to, to show them the support from, from Dundalk, um, you know, and, and strike that kind of link up between us and America and... Um, yeah, so that'd, that'd be great. I'd, I'd appreciate it if people would tune in. There you are. Well, anyway, Peter, I want to thank you for coming on this morning. We're going to play that track now, and we need to talk. And there is a great video of it. There's a lot of phone numbers as well of people that are suffering at the moment with mental health, that you can contact them as well. But the, the message is, you need to talk. That's it. We need to talk, Paddy, like me and you are doing now. It's very important. And I suppose, you know, especially men, you know we're terrible at uh, talking about our emotions, um, and um, I think I think it, it, it's important. And you know you should never be afraid to ask for help. Um, you know we all suffer with um, with mental health issues. You know I lost my mother there recently, only a month ago, and you know that's been fairly traumatic for me. And it's about talking it to people about that when I'm feeling bad. You know so um, yeah, talk. That's the most important thing. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. And we are going to play a song now. I'll talk to you soon. Mind yourself. Thanks very much, Paddy, for the support. Much no problem.